Dickie Arbiter, the late Queen's long-serving press secretary, has demanded an apology from publisher Penguin Random House over an alleged inaccuracy in Spare, Prince Harry's memoir. Without naming him, Harry's ghostwritten book claimed Mr. Arbiter had warned Harry and wife Meghan Markle they could expect no mercy from the British establishment. However, he tweeted, What are at Penguin Random going to do about correcting this allegation against me? I never said anything of the sort. How about a public apology PDQ? The remark in question instead appears to have been made by journalist Trevor Phillips. The confusion appears to stem from a Mail Online article published on January 10, 2020 precisely two years before the publication of Spare, which considers the impact of Harry and Meghan's decision to stand down as frontline royals and relocate to North America, initially Canada. Mr. Arbiter is quoted as saying, The Queen will bear this latest insult with the stoicism with which she has faced every other challenge in her life. But make no mistake, an insult it is. Harry's book says, The Queen's ex-press secretary concluded that we could hereafter expect no mercy. However, the words in question are actually attributed to former chair of the London Assembly Mr. Phillips, who is quoted as saying, once outside the royal enclosure, they will no longer enjoy the deference that Harry, at least, has had all his life. They will join the rest of us in the trenches. They can expect no mercy from those who like things just as they are. Speaking to Express.co.uk afterwards, Harry throughout his book was talking about inaccuracy and yet does exactly the same. It's a bit hypocritical. The other thing that he got wrong is he talked about an Xbox. Well, the Xbox did not arrive until a couple of years later. There is no excuse. If you are writing something non-fiction and if you know it is going to be a bestseller, then you check your facts. These things are easily available to check if you care to Google them. It does need to be corrected. And one would assume that given the book has allegedly sold 1.5 million and I believe that the original run was 2 million, that it will be corrected in the next run.